Uh, can you also talk about what kind of projects are there in Zoe, either incubated? Or... That's a really good question, the incubation project. So Zoe has, every few years, it releases, I think every 18 months, so version one, version two. We're right now looking towards version three. Uh, we don't have an exact release date. There's a few engineering and other issues have to be sorted out there. But So we have some core projects in Zoe, but we have some incubators, and they're really fun because they can be started by somebody who comes along to the Zoe community and says, I've got some interesting idea, and then we normally kind of weed and feed them. And some really exciting ones going on. A really interesting project is, so one of our first IDE, integrated development environments, that we targeted was Visual Studio Code, very, very popular open source IDE, open source by Microsoft, but everywhere you walk around here, you'll see people using VS Code. It's taught by universities. Within the Java community, there's a platform called IntelliJ, and a, a group in Poland called the IBA Group, they donated to the Zoe community a plugin for IntelliJ, and that's becoming really, really popular. I see a lot of adoption by that, and that's a really, really thriving incubator project that's going on at the moment. Um, there's one called Zen, Z-E-N, which is a very kind of a sort of Buddha relaxed technology, and I love the word because it's also a play on words with uh, the Z or Z coming from Zoe, and that's because a lot of customers were struggling to install Zoe on a ZOS environment. It's difficult, mainframes are hard to use, and the people who haven't grown up with it found it difficult and were struggling. So some really smart folks got together and said, let's solve this with a, some really cool, let's bring the beauty of a, a kind of Windows installer, you know, something where you just literally click and hit next and ask a few questions and it does all the heavy lifting behind you. Um, and it has some cute little graphics and emojis and uh, makes it more fun. So that's come along, that's an incubator project. That's really, really nice to see that growing to see that kind of fresh talent coming in and they're bringing a new instrument and a new kind of beat into the band and they're basically revitalizing that. Um, those are the two that really stand out for me at the moment, yeah.